Hi, Nurse Christine. How are you? Hey, I'm fabulous. I heard. So, so <laughs> we are on the other side. Welcome to the other side. And with that said, you were in what part of NCLEX Hale did you use? How about that? We'll start there. Um, I was with you 18 months ago. I started out with the on demand. Um, I took the live course last spring and then continued with the on demand. And you worked before that. I did. I did. Um, I've been an LPN since 1989. Um, had all my hopes of becoming an RN, but life happened. Um, got married at 23, had kids at 25, 79. Um, so my dream was postponed. And when the kids were settled and old enough, I decided to go back to school at the age of 50. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, needless to say, over the past five and a half years from that, I'll be 56 in the spring. Um, this was my fourth attempt and I finally, finally passed. I had a lot of negativity um, about going back to school after my age, but this was something that I always wanted for myself. And I, and I decided it was for me and not for anybody else. Absolutely. And I think this is, um, it's such an inspirational um, story because at the same time, you, you had already accomplished, you know, a portion of it. You became an mm -hmm. LPN. And yeah. uh, which is, I mean, that's, that's perfect right there. But you yourself were not content with that. You wanted to take it one step further. Yeah. And you went through life. I mean, life, life, children and everything, negativity. And even with the four attempts, you still persevered. What is your advice for people on the other side? My advice for everyone is do not give up on yourself. This is about you um, on test day. That morning, you forget everything else that's happening in your life. And those, and those couple of hours, you concentrate, breathe, and take your time with each and every question. I was 150 questions. I had an hour left on the exam. And like Dr. Z always said, it doesn't matter the amount of questions, a pass is a pass. So exactly. you, you owe it to yourself for those couple of hours to not those things that are going on in your life, they can wait till after the test. Yes. Um, I was told some horrific news the night of the test. I had a little bit of panic attack, but my husband sat me down and he said, those couple of hours, it's about you. You worked hard, go in there and kill it because those problems aren't going away, but you only have a couple of hours to take that test. That's amazing. You know, um, in, in all our interviews, that is something that I haven't actually heard and I've heard pretty much everything, but yeah, in those few hours it is all about you and the questions in front of you and that's it that's it everything else is going to be there before and after and that's amazing advice that's amazing advice so with that said do you have any what, what have you decided to do with your RN how about that have you decided uh, yet, well, I was working um I have a history of trauma uh step down unit uh long-term care up until two years ago I was doing I was working in home care but for medical reasons, I had to be put on medical leave. So I'm healing from all that. And I think I want to go into hospice. Oh, wow. That's, that's tough. Emotionally, yeah. that's very tough. Yeah. So I mean, that that takes a lot to deal with family. And we just actually did a lecture on palliative care, hospice and end of life care, right? Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's something that that is definitely needed. And we need compassionate people um, as yourself in that field. So um, Nurse Christine, any last words for everyone before um, we get on to our next interview? I do, Dr. Z. I yes. want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want <laughs> you. you to know you were with me the entire exam. I heard, don't go in a rabbit hole. Um, yep. <laughs> everything, the method. You spoke to me. I heard you. I want to thank you. If there's any, if there's anybody out there now within this 500, I've done other reviews before I found you, Dr. Z. I spent money for two years on somebody else, did not help me. If you are contemplating taking this course, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I've loved all the lectures, podcasts, YouTube, notes. I have to say I'm glad I'm not doing 440s anymore early in the morning, but <laughs> you world, this is where you want to be. This is where you need to be and you owe it to yourself. So Dr. Z, much love. Thank you. Thank so much. you.
Thank you so much. You know, I appreciate those words. I mean, we do put a lot of hard work into what we do. We pride yeah. ourselves. I tell people all the time, you're going to get annoyed with me. And I don't care if you get annoyed with me while you're studying, because the minute you take that test and you pass it, then I want you to love me. So <laughs> I'm going to make your voice. I know. Well, you can stop in anytime. So, <laughs> and then the podcast is always there. You can always, you know, reach out to me as well too. So, yes, Nurse Christine, thank you so thank much you. for joining and sharing. Bye, everybody. Good luck. Take care. Stop All back. right. Thank you so much.